The Democratic Unionist Party, DUP, has passed 20 seats in the Northern Ireland Assembly election as counts continue. More than half of the 108 seats have been filled, with the DUP taking 25. Six constituencies have been fully declared, and counting has ended for the night in five areas. So far, Sinn Féin has 16 seats, the Ulster Unionists have 8, the Alliance Party has 5, the Social Democratic and Labour Party, SDLP, has 4, and two parties have one each. Gary Carroll won a first-ever assembly seat for the People Before Profit Alliance, topping the poll in West Belfast for the left-wing party. Former Sinn Féin MLA Rosie McCorley was excluded, meaning the party will not retain their five seats in the constituency. Mr Carroll said his success was evidence that voters had become fed up with the status quo and were looking for a political alternative. In South Down, John McAllister became the first high-profile MLA to lose his seat when he was eliminated after the first count, but he said his his nine years as an MLA had been a privilege. He was twice elected as an Ulster Unionist but left the party in 2013 to form the ill-fated NI21, which imploded just over a year later. Ulster Unionist leader Mike Nesbitt said he was stunned to top the Strangford poll, but acknowledged that he had been ambitious with his prediction of the number of seats his party would win. Alliance Party leader David Ford crossed the line in South Antrim and Jim Allister, who leads the traditional Unionist voice, was re-elected in North Antrim. Former MP Naomi Long will return to frontline politics after her election for the Alliance Party in East Belfast, where she lost her Westminster seat to the DUP last year. The DUP's Joanne Bunting has taken the East Belfast seat vacated by former First Minister Peter Robinson, who retired earlier this year. In South Belfast, the city's former Lord Mayor Merdin Omuliwar was elected, while Gary Kelly and Alex Maskey did the same in North Belfast and West Belfast respectively. Jenny Palmer, a councillor who left the DUP last year after claiming she had been bullied, took a seat off her former party when she was elected for the Ulster Unionists in Lagan Valley. Former Agriculture Minister Michelle Gildernew, who left the Assembly to serve as an MP, will return to Stormont after her election for Sinn Féin in Fermanagh and South Tyrone. William Irwin of the DUP came top of the poll Nuri and Armagh with Sinn Féin taking two seats in the constituency, while four candidates were elected on the first count in Mid-Ulster. Former Health Minister Jim Wells, who has endured a series of controversies in the past two years, was re-elected in South Down. He made a formal complaint to the Electoral Office for Northern Ireland after his wife and the husband of Social Democratic and Labour Party, SDLP, candidate Sinead Bradley were denied entry to the count. 276 candidates are competing for 108 seats across Northern Ireland's 18 constituencies. In all, 703,744 people voted in the election, a turnout of 54.91%, which was down slightly from the figure of 55.64% in the 2011 Assembly election. In general terms, Turnout in eastern constituencies has increased compared to 2011, but dropped in western constituencies. More than 2,000 staff are involved in counting the votes in eight centres across Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland, MLAs are elected using the Single Transferable Vote STV, system, a form of proportional representation. Many counts are expected to last two days and the final seats not due to be declared until sometime on Saturday.